So let's talk about uh, the big story around Travelex and banks on high streets in the UK are getting worried about the problem with this currency exchange of financial uh, services companies. So what's the big story around there? Let's uh, bring on Juliana Layenka from our London studios, my colleague there, uh, who is always standing by to bring us up to speed what's happening on the other side of the Atlantic. Good morning, Juliana. What's this problem with Travelex? And why are banks on high streets getting scared? Uh, good morning, Bo. Some more Britain's biggest banks have all been affected um, by uh, this uh, cyber attack on Travelex. This is RBS, um, HSBC. There are also lots of uh, grosser banks like Tesco and Sainsbury's. And that's because um, over a couple of days ago now, Travelex um, was hit by this huge cyber attack. And uh, the hackers have actually contacted uh, Travelex and said to them that if they don't pay £4.5 million, then they will be releasing um, the data of all its companies. Customers. And this is a huge issue because, as we know, Travelex is the biggest uh, currency supplier in the world. And it's really um, huge and massive in London because this is where it's headquartered. Uh, now, the umbrella company, the UAE um, parent company, uh, Finalbear, their shares were down 17 percent today, which is a record low for them. Even one shareholder um, sold off their shares worth up to 73 million pounds. So it's a huge, huge issue. A lot of banks are no longer able uh, to sell the euro or the dollar, whether you go online or you, wherever you go into their branch, they're telling customers to stay um, away at the moment. We've heard from the Financial Conduct Authority and um, they're doing a joint investigation with the Metropolitan Police and they're trying to resolve it. Travelex have issued an announcement today saying that they don't believe any customer data has been compromised, but it's a huge story and I think it's one that's likely to pick up um, as the week goes on. Yes, well, Friday tomorrow, so maybe next week. I, I know, I know. It's, it's a big story when it comes to uh, getting uh, folks' financial data out there on the street. is huge. This is uh, this is a big one. The cyber fraud, cyber crime, dark world of the internet, and all of that technology, digital space, whatever information superhighway. Okay. Uh, this is also part of the issue with the big um, uh, retailers in the UK. Reports coming through says 2019, December was one of the worst in recent years for the retailers. How bad are the numbers uh, coming through from M&S, uh, Tesco and others this morning? It's grabbing the headlines. I can see that everywhere. It is grabbing the headlines. Everybody is talking about it because, of course, um, after Christmas uh, for uh, businesses, it comes the reporting. And 2019 has officially been labelled the worst year on record for the high street. Um, as well as everybody cracking the numbers, the government are also trying to put millions in on trying to save the high street. And we're not necessarily talking about the big, big footsie companies. In lots of local areas, they're really trying to invest just to get people out in the shops and online. Uh, the big um, retailers have been reporting their Le earnings and M&S Marks and Spencer of course they were quite humiliatingly relegated from the FTSE 100 for the FTSE 250 uh, they've reported less than expected sales 0.6% um, was the fall in the last quarter of the year and that was driven by a 3.7% slump in clothing and um, in food that was in the stores they had a better picture online online um, their growth was up by 1.5 uh, percent, which of course any growth is good, but for a big retailer like M&S, especially considering just how busy um, you know the Christmas period is, that's not good enough. Also, as well, food online was up by 1.5 percent to 1.7 billion pounds. Um, so a loss in stores, a gain online, but that wasn't enough to satisfy uh, their shareholders because at early trading, M&S's sales are down uh, by seven percent. Britain's biggest Grocer Tesco, um, they did better than expected. Their sales um, in the last quarter were down about 0.4%, which is still a loss, but not as bad as they had expected. They also um, announced some really record-breaking online sales. Apparently, in the last quarter, uh, they delivered over 14 million um, deliveries online, uh, which is the best that they've done. So Tesco appeared to be uh, the biggest gainer of the retailers. And uh, at early trading, their sales were up 3%.
all within the corporate space for the UK market for today. We leave Brexit, we leave the US, you're in crisis, tension, whatever. Let's just say, let's just stick with this news to, to wrap it up with you, Juliana, about uh, uh, John Lewis. What's the problem here with this uh, uh, company? Why is the CEO walking through the front door? What's the, what's the, cry, what's the problem? Well, as I said, you know, London today is all about retail. John Lewis and Waitrose, uh, they're considered, I would say, the upper echelon of online and grocery uh, shopping or high street shopping, as I say, similar to Marks and Spencers. But for those that uh, prefer something just a little bit uh, more ni nicer, they've issued a profit warning um, because they had worse than expected sales as well, uh, particularly when it comes to clothing. And uh, they said that their CEO is going to be stepping down down um, in February. Uh, you know, John Lewis is really undergoing um, some improvements in a makeover. They realise that online is exactly where um, they should be going. Of course, even um, yesterday with Sainsbury's um, reports, we're seeing that there's a lot of, there's less footfall in stores and much more online. And those that aren't quick uh, to catch up with that are losing out. And John Lewis are really losing out with that. But they said, you know, they've got better times ahead. I think I reported on your show earlier last Last year that Sharon White, a black woman, we don't really have a lot of black women at the head of FTSE 100 company, she'll be taking over just as this CEO comes out. And they're really hoping but by penetrating online customers and combining Waitrose more uh, with John Lewis will really improve their sales. So some numbers for you. Um, they saw a loss of 2.3%. Their um, year to year sales are 1.13 billion pounds. Uh, so still a slump, but uh, doing a little bit well. Wait Waitros as well, that's their junior company. They suffered a 1.3%, but online, Waitros jumped an impressive 17% over the last quarter, which is why, at the moment, shareholders are not too downbeat because they believe once they bring in the new crew to mm. take over and they push uh, for the online sales, things mm. will be improving. But not a great day for retail in the United Kingdom this morning. Great, quite a lot of uh, retail talks this morning on the program. Thank you so much, Juliana. Have a great day and see you in the afternoon.